Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here today to do some uh, ephemera making and I wanted to uh, join the uh, wonderful group of makers who are doing hashtag JJ Junk Journal Mass Makes March. And this is an initiative that was started by the fabulous Corey Dahman. So this is, I will use this hashtag and if you're going to do any mass makes then I highly encourage you to use this hashtag as well. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. You may hear my voice. I've got a bit of a uh, <clears throat> cold. I have had a less than optimum health week. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, and I did some fussy cutting yesterday. I had, uh, I mentioned in my last video, uh, I, I forget exactly how I framed it up, but that my um, grandson had the flu, etc. Stomach flu, and yes, of course I caught it, because that's what we do. Um, so I caught his flu, and um, I am, that was Tuesday, and I am just starting to feel a little bit better today. And it seems to have morphed into a bit of a cold, so whatever. <laughs> it's all good. There are far worse things. So last night when I was feeling well and, up, well and sitting upright, I decided to do some fussy cutting of some yummy stuff. And I wanted to do some tags. Um, so there's all kinds of different subjects here, but they're all, of course, nature related because, you know, that's kind of my thing. And then I have these beautiful um, tags. These are antique book page tags, and they're from Touk. And I use these a lot as the basis for my many of my tags. So I am just going to... We'll see how many of these we can we can get done. I'm not trying to be very um, uh, careful, if you will, with my cutting. I just want to be able to fit a couple on a page, a couple of these on a page. And I'm going to see if we can get, um, well, I'll certainly show you how I go about doing this. And I think I've, I've I know I've shown you this before, this sort of thing. I also often use uh, bases from uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations, hi Rach, and uh, from uh, Tracy, Tracy Fox, hi Tracy. Um, I love Tracy's tag uh, bases um, as well, and I love Rachel's. So anyway, so what I thought I would do with these <clears throat> is I would use as the back some old scrapbook paper. It's not real thick. Uh, and I think I'm going to use this piece because I just thought it would be beautiful. And then these, that would, you can write on that with a dark black pen. Uh, but I just thought that because this is not directional, like these leaves are going all different directions, um, that I might try and see if I can get, can I get six on here? No, we can't get six on there, but I can, not in that format anyway. So let's just see how many we can get on here, and then we'll cut them out. Okay, the perforated edge is over here. And let me grab my glue. And take the uh, glue goobers off the top. So I hope you all are well. I sure hope you're not getting this flu. It is that kind of flu season, isn't it? And I can, you know what, I can, um, I can handle colds and whatnot, but stomach flu, I know. I become a bit of a wuss. Um, I really do. It's not my, definitely my least favorite of the type of illnesses I've had. Ugh. That kind of flu is the worst. So yeah, it hung on for a little bit, but we're good. We're on the mend, which is great. So I hope you are all, <laughs> my hope is you all avoid it. <laughs> Stay away from my grandson. <laughs> it's basically what I'm trying to say. Actually, I'm going to put that over here because I might be able to use that little slip of paper that's left 
on this edge for something else. Okay, so that's going to give us three. And then, um, let's just, you know, it's going to come pretty close. It's going to come pretty close. I'm going to try and, and fit those on. And if I have to cut the tops off a tiny bit, then we'll do that. We'll just reshape the, the tag if we have to. Trying to make do with what I have. So what have you all been up to? Have you been crafting away? I hope so. Um, I hope you're doing what, what makes you happy. I know for me, not being able to craft, like just not feeling well enough to to uh, sit up and do much of anything, to be honest, is not a nice feeling, so. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and just come down to here. Oh, I'm way off. <laughs> okay, well, they're gonna turn into journal cards, those ones at the top. Look at that, way off. Can I blame the flu? Let's blame the flu. Ah, it's all good. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this out. <laughs> Normally I would do this on my cutter, but um, uh, I can't really get the, the, big, the big thing in frame, so we'll do it this way. And she gives you an extra edge here uh, on these that nice tan edge, so you can either choose to include that or cut it off, whatever works for you. So we'll see how many of these I would get done in my filming limits, but I mean, that's the nice thing about mass makes. And this is how I make tags. I make a bunch at a time. Um, and uh, unless I'm doing a specialty theme, uh, which I mean, the specialty themes I've done have really just been sort of Renaissance. Uh, and um, what else? If I'm doing a special book, like a special gardening book or something like that, then I might do a different uh, tag, different decorate in a different sort of way. But I tend to collect digis and whatnot that really play into the area that is my favorite, which is the area of botanicals. So, let's see what we can do with these brand new journal cards. And they're a lovely size, so it makes it pretty easy to turn them into journal cards. <coughs> Pardon me, please. And then cut down here. And here. And you could be we could re-make um, the tops if we want it. <coughs> Pardon me, I have a tickle in my throat. I'm not expiring. <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to the fact that I'm going to get to see everybody this weekend because, um, because uh, Will was sick last Friday, we didn't do our usual Sunday supper, um, and I saw him, uh, well actually I didn't see him, I, my husband went over and babysat for him when he was ill, <coughs> and um, so that was my connection to picking up the bug. Of course he didn't get sick. So, isn't that a pretty background? Just so pretty. Anyway, so here are our tags and here are our cards. And we can clip the corners or do whatever we want with those. I just think those are beautiful, beautiful colors for the backgrounds. Uh, and what do I want? I've got flowers cut out. And these are, I think these are all from, um, this particular bunch are also from Toque. And they're her big blossoms. I have some owls as well, and those are from Tooks, Took as well, her, some of her owl digis. I've got some butterflies from Tracy, 
and birds from Tracy. And then I also have, I have um, butterflies and her new bird kit, which is gorgeous. I'm gonna set these up here. Uh, and I have some watercolor butterflies. I've got some um, florals from, uh, these are from uh, Medieval Mirage. Those are lovely, actually. Um, that sort of thing would look really nice. I think that would look really nice on here. Okay. And I also have some, um, I have some portraits from, and they are from Tracy as well. Gosh, and I have some of Tracy's beautiful, her bumper birds and her bumper uh, botanicals. Love those kits. So I have some birds as well from those. And those are fun. Oh, that, no, it's not the same. It's the same bird on the bottom. Isn't that interesting? It looks like the same bird, just bent over more. So you can do this sort of thing. I just, I know I want to do this, so I'm going to set that there. And we'll just, let's just decorate away. So this is the way I do uh, my mass makes. I'll set everything out around me. And then I will um, start to play. So I'm going to set this to the side because I like the way that is framed by the frame here. So there's that. Um, and we could put put like a, a pretty butterfly or something if we wanted on here, sort of at the bottom. Sorry if I was going off a little bit. Now I, that blue's a bit dark for that. I like that. Okay, so we're going to do that. And just glue it on. So yeah, I just like to have a, a bit of a variety around me while I do my my decorating. Like that to me is done. And we can do like Rachel and just, I like uh, doing those little edges. I think that's a great idea, Rach. And it makes it easier to put in a pocket as well. And later I could come back and put a label on that if I want it. But that's one down. Okay, I better get a move on. Um, I did also like the idea of maybe doing a portrait. Just a second, let me see if I have one of these that's available. These little ladies, I think are really, really nice too. Sorry, I'm getting emails. So we could put, I often like to put a, um, sort of a, an image in the corner and then put a floral, but I think that flower's too big. Or I could put it over here, put the flower over there. I think that might work. So I'm just going to cut that out around those edges because they are kind of rounded and that's a Tracy kit um, her family portraits. Go to her um, Etsy shop Love Junk Journals and write uh, portrait in the search column and you will find that. And then this can come down here. Just come off the page a little bit. Maybe we'll keep the point. I think that would look really nice. Okay. So I know I'm going to lose part of that. So I'll just glue here. This would be a good time to use glue stick, but it's just not something I do when I'm doing videos very often. Um, I don't have a lot of space here in front of me. Uh, it's just my setup. I mean, I'm always complaining about my setup. 
but I don't do anything about it, so really, how bad can it be? <laughs> right? Okay. So, just like that. And you could easily put a nice uh, label on there. Might put some washi, that sort of thing. So, so far, we've got, I'd say, two down. Um, yeah, two down. Quite different. This one, I think I want to cover a bit more of the background. So I'm going to grab, I have some, this is some um, antiquarian uh, ledger paper that I have. I'm just going to set that there. And put that on. will be good to go. Something about that image right there reminds me of the cowardly lion, this guy, from The Wizard of Oz. Just has that look about him. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to also mention, um, I wanted to mention a friend's uh, shop that um, she's opened recently, and that's Laura. And Laura is Yaya's Journals on Etsy. And she has, uh, right now I think she has three um, really, really pretty journals in there. So uh, it's just a shout out to Laura and have a look. I'll put the link to her, uh, Laura's shop below. So I love the name of your shop too, Laura. Yeah, yeah. So cute. So we have, do we want that guy looking over his shoulder? <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. I must have something here. I can put not. The, I mean, I love the the lion. I just think having it over the shoulder might be a bit much. I was thinking about using the back of that last piece, uh, but I don't think that's going to work. Let me see. Don't see anything here. What about? I have this B. It's a, it's one of those uh, stickers. I wonder if that would work in the back there, just to cover up. I have the hardest time getting these off. Okay, there. And we're still going to see through this. This is a bit opaque, but it will be better than how obvious he currently looks there. Yeah, that's better. That masks him nicely. Okay, so then we have the B there, and I like that. Okay, let's do that. So I'll get the glue on here. So Hub's been cooking Mr. Journal Adventure, as he likes me to call him <laughs> when I refer to him on video. He does find that really funny. Um, he's been cooking this week. Now, I haven't, I haven't been interested in any food, to be, to be honest, which is a safe bet. But at least when there has been anything uh, to consume, he's been getting it for me. So I've been very, very lucky that way. So and this looks quite different as well. Happy to use that sticker that way. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we've got three down. Three down. Now I said I wanted to use this one here. I'm gonna do it. Okay. And but you can see with all of the things that I have um, that I have cut out that they've got lots of options for uh, placing things and using things. So I'm just going to use some of this. This is um, William Morris Washi and I've had it forever. I know I got it on uh, Etsy a long time ago. So I'm just going to put some glue down here. Normally I'd put some um, 
just glue stick behind it. But I'm just going to try and put that on the edge. Or, ooh, we don't want to cover the birds' faces. There we go. That was that for a last minute uh, removal. So we've got that. And I think it might need more, but it might be okay. Oh, wait now. Wait now. I have I have my washi. Now this is washi I got from AliExpress a long time ago, but I don't I don't shop on AliExpress anymore. So um, you may be able to find it elsewhere. Just um, search for butterfly washi and you may you may get lucky that way. So I think that looks really cute. Okay, we've got two more to go. Um, that's so pretty. Let's see. I think that's kind of pretty just like that. Um, and I think I might want to put a little bit of washi in the background. So let me just grab this. You can hear how nice and sticky this is. And I'm just going to set it down here. The, uh, the tone of the beige in that is almost exactly the same tone as the beige in Tuke's beautiful um, tag. So I'm going to I'm going to cut it off so that it doesn't go right like it, that it looks like it goes over the edge. Uh, I think that would be really a nice dramatic look. It does kind of set it more, I think, when something doesn't just set in the middle. I mean, I have lots of things that I make where it just sits in the middle and it just seems to look right to me in that moment. But I like having things askew sometimes too because it just draws your eye to the edge more. And of course, if you're an inker, you go ahead and ink. That would be beautiful as well. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Get rid of these. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're going to get six done in my half hour. And then this is the last one. I don't think we've used any of these birds. So let's do that. These are real cutie. These are the medium size from the kit, from Ray, or from Tracy's kit, um, and they're so beautiful. Love this little guy too. He's looking up. Okay, let's stick with the first one I had. Um, I think I'll go with that. And do I have any flowers here? They're a little bit that he could look like. He is emerging from. Would it be too much to have him? I think it's. Uh, no, I think it's all too much. Um, and that's not to say that we couldn't have him. That he that couldn't be the background, and he couldn't be on a little stick. Yeah, I think we'll go that route. Why not? So I am gonna. Set this on and then we'll look at placing the bird so that it looks like this flower is in the background. He's not on the flower. Um, and uh, he's on a twig that's on a branch that's in front of this part of the garden. It pays to have a, a healthy imagination <laughs> when you're doing this kind of decorating. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set it like that. 
perfect, kind of in the middle. Okay, so we're going to set our bird, I think, just in here, like that. Okay, that works. Get my glue bearings about me. So yeah, I'm just so happy to be able to do this. I tried to exercise yesterday. I mean, when I say I tried to, I did exercise yesterday. And um, it set me back. And uh, <clears throat> I was I was admonished <laughs> by hubby at that time. Okay, so we've got all six of them done. And how much time? We have just a few minutes to see about whether or not we want any labels on some of these. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for now because I will just continue on from here. Uh, and they're all quite different, but but fun, I think. Now I do have my I'm going to put, cut my, uh, my hole there, like that, um, let's see if it'll fit on here okay. Like that, like that. And I'm just going to put them on the tags. Like that. Okay. So those, I think, are pretty much done. Do we want... Sorry, move this out of the way. Let me just see if I have any labels that are... Oh. Here are a few. I have to cut more labels. And these are Tracy labels. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that one up there. So don't worry if you have to cut the top off your tag from time to time. You may end up with something even, look how special that is. I love that. Um, I'm wondering, will that even fit here? I don't want to cover this all up. I think I might just put that there and only have, and cut the edge of it off just to give it a little bit more presence and secretly to cover that lion a little bit. I can't see the lion anymore, but it's more because I know he's there. And then this one, you know what? I like that one as it is. Um, I think that would look good there. So we'll just do those three with labels on them. Okay. All right. So in 30 minutes, I've done six. So we've got this one, and they all have this on the back. This one, love that. This one, get the washi there. The beautiful owl. Really love the looks of that one. And then this guy. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And please join in to the JJ Mass Makers March hashtag at the beginning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Stay well. <laughs> Bye.